Hello, Lavinians, or should I say, hello, familiars? <laughs> Why would I say that? Well, it might be because I made a card that says my familiar. I made a card. I don't usually do cards in Lavinian. I make a whole lot of cards, but when I do Lavinia, I need the big dreamy pictures for the most part, but I don't want to be stuck in one track, so I need to alternate. So here's the card. Here is a make from me. If you want to see how I made this one, you'll have to keep watching because here comes the video. Happy crafting, my friends. Hello. I have a multifarious card that I cut to A2 size. My inks are Sundance, Russet Orange and Merlot. I'm using the stencil called Lattice. Now I'm using just leftovers from the lids of my inks here as you can see and a little leftovers from my brushes. I want the kind of um, light impression through the stencil, not a very power powerful one. As you know, these inks are very vibrant. They are very, very good inks. This is the russet orange again. I'm using what's left in my lid and in my brush. I'm trying not to hit the same spots every time. So I make don't want to make mud um, with mixing all of the colors. Um, so I'm trying to let them interact somewhere places and hit blank spots other places and I'm trying to leave the middle pretty blank really. Let's have a reveal. Here we are. As you can see I have open in the middle. Now I want to stamp seeing is believing. I'm imagining her realizing summer is over and she's climbing down from her flower to embrace autumn. I think that's a beautiful thought, to be honest. Flower, well, yeah. Mysticals. This is the Chestnut Bay. Uh, I'm using my paintbrush for this. And uh, I want to do just a little light splatter around in the top right corner and bottom left corner. Dipping a couple of times, as you can see. But I'm not done with the mysticals. This beautiful mat we have from Lavinia don't stain. So I'm using it as a palette, spraying on my mat and painting the wings of the fairy. So she can have shimmering, beautiful um, wings. Remember to go clean the nozzle of your spray, my friends, or it might clog sometimes. Now, after gently placing these colors, I, I will need some cardstock. I'm using black in a USA 2 size, which is five and a half and four and a quarter. The gold panels, I pinch a quarter and the writer field, I also pinch a quarter, making it the same size as the motive on front. Regarding the writer field, when I am making cards uh, and especially when I'm using stencils, I like to add a little bit of the pattern from the front also in the writer field. This is where I am extra light handed because I don't want to, to disturb the writing if you know what I mean. So little goes a long way. This is going to get glued together. We have a little bit left to do on our main motive here. We have stickles. This one is called copper. I'm using it on the flower and I want a little bit also on her wings. My familiar is stamped on now and we are ready to place our motive on our card. My familiar, by the way, was stamped in fallen leaves. Where's fine Claire? I'm also using Posca pen white to make the squares look a little bit more, more like shiny tiles. What do you think? I hope you liked this one, my friends. Maybe it inspired you to make something today.
make something colorful. Happy crafting!